30th annual African World Fest kicked off today in downtown Detroit. AJ Walker was there to check out what people can expect this weekend. She joins us from Hart Plaza with more. With vendor after vendor showcasing African culture, the African World Fest brings the metro Detroit area into a world of opportunities to sample some of the uniqueness of Africa. And Gia Kai, the festival's director, has been coordinating this event for 16 years and talks to us about why this one is special. This is my second time coming down here and I'm just so glad to be back again this year. And I know you guys try to switch it up and do different things. Is there anything new going on this year that you guys are doing? Well, with it being the 40th anniversary celebration, we really did put an emphasis on bigger talent. We have four big stages. We have three performance uh, areas. We have all kinds of uh, special little uh, surprises uh, within the uh, plaza. And uh, we have about 135 vendors, uh, 12 food vendors. So we really just emphasize making it big and making sure we made it really representative of this 40 year tradition that everybody loves. The event is put on by the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History. Kai says that's part of what makes it so impactful. We're really happy to create a public outreach opportunity for the Charles H. Wright Museum. The museum is the Museum of African American History, and we've developed now the African World Festival, which lives that museum uh, mission out loud in the public with tens of thousands of people attending. And we are able to focus on sampling aspects of the entire African world. Vendor Rod Spencer was happy to show us some of his trade beads. This is currency. We call it in America money, uh, not cryptocurrency, but trade beads made in Africa. These are ground glass beads hand painted. But there are many vendors offering a variety of African culture, and we'll show you more as we check out this event over the next couple of days. And if you're not able to make it down to the African World Fest today, don't worry, it's still going on on Saturday and Sunday. Reporting in Detroit, I'm AJ Walker, CBS News Detroit.